so welcome to my Sony Vegas tutorial. Today I'm gonna show you how to make a real cool um, TV static, you know, that pops up when there is TV simulation static. I don't know what it's called, but yeah, pretty cool. If you saw the intro, you probably know what it looks like. And I'm gonna first just make the static and then, like on step two, is to make it on top of something. So, yeah, okay, so you don't need to download anything. Yeah, just go to media generators and then test pattern and then you can choose like between the NT SC or PAL I'm gonna sh choose the PAL I like it a lot more and this pretty much the basic thing we're gonna make a lot more like it's gonna be like 3d sort of um, so it's gonna look a lot better but you know this is the basic idea like, go to video effects and then scroll down until you find TV simulator and then choose TV look and if you have to play it right now it's going to lag like hell because my computer sucks ass but yeah you can see that you know it goes by like that and after like you know quite a while like you know you choose when you want it but maybe like half the clip click S and it's gonna make a new video and it can short it down because and then choose bad sync and what this will do is pretty much like shake the screen around like you know there's another problem with your TV so it's gonna look pretty good I mean it's probably gonna like, yeah you can see it next to the transition here yeah it looks pretty bad because the video is lagging but so that's pretty much the basic idea it's very quick it's very simple but it looks very good it looks not a lot better than just having the you know, just having the p test pattern here, you know, it looks a lot better. So, yeah, that's pretty good. But if you want to put it like on top of a video, <coughs> and also when you put it on top of the video, we're gonna make like the screen and, you know, sort of get smaller and then, you know, disappears, you know, like some turn off the TV, slow, sort of shrinks down to this line and then disappears real quick. And then so yeah just drag down your video or whatever and this one is not widescreen so I'm gonna make it widescreen very simple like this and by the way this TV static thing looks a lot better if you have an old TV not a, like a flat, uh, flat screen so something like that and then we're going to go to the event pan crop and then go to mask and then we're gonna yeah uh, click the mask thing like mar mark it and then we're gonna zoom you can use control like hold control and drag to move the screen so just ma mask like put a uh, thing there and then one there and I'm gonna make this like real quick so it's not gonna be very good but this is that tutorial if you wanna like undo something, like if you do it wrong, you can just press Control and Z or Z. Uh, yeah, so yeah, that will basically just remove something that you made. So, all right. So now that we masked it, you can see that it's not a very good mask, but yeah, you can see that you can. Like right now, you can only see the screen, which we don't want. We want to cut out the screen. So change the mode to negative, and then yeah, you can see this. Um, yeah, you can fed feather it if you want to, but it's it looks be best if you don't feather it. So, all right. So now we're gonna go to track motion because you know right now you can only see like a little bit of the, of the screen. If we do like this, you can see that. Yeah. Um, yeah. Change the opacity so you can see through it. But yeah, I'm gonna change the opacity like this. And I'm going just so we can see better better what we are going to shrink it down to. So I'm just going to shrink it down like to the corner, like that. It doesn't have to be perfect though, but a lot better than what it was at first. So I recommend that you do like the top right corner and then the uh, bottom left corner, like you know, fix those. Because it looks like it's a lot more simpler than drag all the corners. 
Uh, I'm just gonna fix one thing because this room looks a little more commercial -y than I want to, so I'm just gonna change the brightness to very dark to so you know it looks a lot better. So. You look a little scary, you know, like yeah, something like that. It doesn't really matter. It's just a test then. So if you look at this again, it's gonna lag a little bit, but it looks pretty cool, you know. Um, you know, screen shakes and you know. It, we we don't want it to go all black. We want to we want the um, the TV to stay a little bit longer, like this. And then we're gonna make like after the screen is shaked, we're gonna make it like shrink down to the line I talked about. So go to track motion again and go to yes. Uh, yeah, let's put it. I don't know what I'm talking about. Okay, so I'm gonna put like one right here. I want it to be this pair like here, something like there. So yeah, I'm just gonna put it like there, and then control Z. No wait. I'm just gonna drag it like there, and then I'm gonna copy the first frame. Just so, and yeah, just paste it like we want it. I want there, so paste it. Yes, so it, because if you don't do this. I fucked something up now. Yeah, I did. <laughs> okay, so I'm sorry about that. Um, copy this frame. Go to this position. Too far there. Because if you don't do this, then it, when we motion tween this and like to a small line, it's gonna go from all through the big uh, from the beginning and gonna shrink it down like and then disappear. So we don't. We only want it to do shrink down from here so yeah. now first what we want to do um is make sure we can see something and uh i want to get rid of this circle because it's sort of in the way okay so something like there remove the circle and then you know make it like this and then dra drag it down, and I'm probably gonna make it like very more thin, thinner, and there. And then I'm gonna make another frame like there, and I'm gonna make this sort of into this, this box, and put it uh, also in the middle. And now, if you watch this, it's probably gonna look go okay. I couldn't even see anything because it lagged so much. Okay, so I'm probably gonna. Put you can also, you know, if you zoom in here by scrolling, you can re put them out at uh, other positions. So, you know, it's more easy to see when you want it. So, let's go over this. And then, yeah, this would be like. I think it's probably like end really like okay I can make it like that so and yeah yeah there um so it's gonna be look really, it's gonna, no, I can't even talk it's going to be very quick the uh, you know the Shrinking down should be very quick, and yeah, I know the quality sucks right now because I want to see something. <sighs> okay, I, I definitely have the frames too close to each other, so you know this takes some time to get the time right to get the you know the look that you want, but uh, it's it's definitely worth it because this effect would be pretty cool. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, that looked real good actually, and uh, I did it pretty quick as well. So.